Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 13.5, Solving Trigonomic Equations. In this section, we are going to be asked to solve trigonomic equations, and when we solve these equations, we are going to come up with degree measures. How we go about solving for trigonomic equations is that we want to do it one of two ways. We want to change all of these trig functions into one common trig function throughout the equation, or two, we want to use our favorite F word, and that is factor. So let's start with number one here, where we have sine theta times cosine theta minus one half cosine theta equals zero. Well, can we change all of these guys into a sine or a cosine? We can't really mess around with this sine too much to get it into cosine, so let's try and factor. Well, what can I take out of this guy and this guy. These are two different terms because they are separated by a minus sign. So what can I take out of the two terms that are underlined, underlined in red? Well, I have a cosine theta here and a cosine theta there. So if I factor that out, it's going to look like this. Cosine theta is going to be right there and then everything else is going to be in parentheses where I have sine theta from here, minus, and then just this one half left because I factored out this cosine theta. What's that going to equal? That's going to equal zero. Now, when you have your trig functions in parentheses with just a number or all by themselves, we can separate them and set it equal to zero. So we're going to take this cosine theta, set that equal to zero, so we have cosine theta equals zero and we also have this guy and set it equal to zero. Now once we have them set equal to zero if we have the trig function by itself we can just inverse that. So what I'm going to do here is take cosine or the inverse cosine of this guy so I'd have cosine to the negative first of zero and that's going to give me 90 degrees. So one of my angle measures is 90 degrees. One of my solutions is 90 degrees. Same thing over here with sine theta. Get this guy all by itself. So add the one half over. So it's sine theta equals one half and then how do you get rid of that sine? You have to inverse it. So I'm going to inverse this one half to come up with 30 degrees. So my answers for theta are 30 degrees from here and 90 degrees from the cosine. These are my solutions and this is what your solutions will look like. With number two, now we have two times cosine squared theta minus one equals sine theta. Well, first things first, can we make these all look the same? Can we have these all the same trig function? Well, we have sine with a single sign we can't do anything with. But how about this, just this cosine squared theta? Can we go back to chapter 13.1 right now and remember what does cosine squared theta equal? Well, that doesn't really equal anything, but if we use our hint here, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. What if I subtracted that sine squared theta over? So then if I subtract it over, we would have cosine squared theta equaling one minus sine squared theta. So is it a right if I turn this guy right here into a one minus sine squared theta. So let's go ahead and do that. One minus sine squared theta. And then I'm gonna bring everything else down that I didn't use. So it's gonna be two, which was in front of the cosine. And then it's going to be the minus one outside the parentheses because it was just the cosine squared theta that changed. That's going to equal a sine theta. Let's distribute this two to here and there to get a 2 minus 2 sine squared theta 
it's still a minus 1 because it's outside of the parentheses, equals sine theta. We keep rocking with this. Now, now since I have a minus 2 sine squared theta here, I'm going to add this over to the other side just to make it positive. So now, I'm going to have a 2 sine squared theta. I'm combining these two terms and moving it over, so that's going to be a negative 1 on this side, and then this plus sine theta. That equals 0, right? Because I moved everything over here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to arrange this like you're used to seeing it, like you're used to seeing it as x squared plus x plus, let's say, 4 for right now. So, rearranging, it's going to be 2 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Now, how do we factor this bad boy? Well, treat this sine squared like a x squared. Treat this sine like a x. Do we remember how to factor that? Well, we have to take this 2 times that negative 1 to get a negative 2. So what multiplies to negative 2 but adds up to a positive 1? That is going to be a positive 2 and a negative 1. So let's go ahead and break everything down. We have this 2 sine theta plus 2 in one set of parentheses and then we have 2 sine theta minus 1 from there in another set that equals 0. Remember we have 1 too many 2 so we have to divide out a 2. 2 goes in there and there so I'm going to divide out that one. So now it's going to be a sine theta plus 1 because I divided out a 2 there and then a 2 sine theta minus 1 that equals 0. Since we have it set equal to 0 now, let's set both of these guys equal to 0 and solve. So this guy set equal to 0. And what else do we have to set equal to 0? We have to set this guy equal to 0. So it's 2 sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Solve for both of them. So going to the purple one, we subtract over 1. So we have sine theta equals a negative 1. What do we have to do? We have to take the inverse sine of negative 1. That gives me a negative 90 degrees. Well, is that going to be an answer? Where does my theta have to be between 0 and 180? So that guy does not happen because that is a negative degree. Moving to the red guy now, how do we solve for sine? Treat this guy like a whole x. That is a whole x right there. So add over the 1, so it's 2 sine theta equals 1, divide by 2, so it's sine theta equals 1 half because we divided by 2. Then you go sine inverse of 1 half to get 30 degrees, and that is our answer for number 2. Last one with number 3. Now we have 2 times secant squared theta minus tangent to the fourth theta equals negative 1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what's our first step? Is there anything that we can factor out? Doesn't really look like it. Is there anything that we can get to the same thing? Well, let's go to my hint over here. Tan squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared. So what if, or what about this secant squared theta right here. That is going to turn into this. It's going to turn into tan squared theta plus 1 and then bring down everything else that you didn't use. I have this 2 sitting out here minus 4 tan to the fourth theta equals a negative 1. Distribute that through so I have 2 tangent squared theta plus 2 minus tan fourth theta equals a negative 1. Now let's go ahead and combine some things, or actually, since this is a negative tan, I'm going to move everything 
over to that side because usually this would be a head but right now I'm going to move everything over to that side so it is going to be a tan 4 theta and then it's a minus 2 tan squared theta now when I subtract that over it's going to turn into a minus 3 equals 0 you could also have the equal 0 over here but we are used to seeing it right here now ladies and gentlemen does this look like something we can factor does this look like x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 3 can we factor this yes we can we just go x squared minus 3 x squared plus 1 to factor that same thing here let's factor it now instead of x's it's tans so it's tan squared theta minus 3 and tan squared theta plus 1 that equals 0 set both equal to 0 so it is tangent squared theta minus 3 equals 0 over here it is tangent squared theta plus 1 equals 0 now let's go ahead and solve we add the 3 over so it's tan squared theta equals 3 how do we get rid of a square we have to square root both sides so then we square root here square root there so it is tan now theta careful here ladies and gentlemen because you square root that leaves us with positive negative answers 1.7321 almost there take the inverse of both positive and negative so the inverse tangent of a positive 1.7321 that is going to be 60 degrees but now the tan inverse of the same thing but negative is going to be a negative 60 degrees so we have two answers here now we move on to tangent squared theta plus one subtract the one over so we have tangent squared theta equals a negative one how do we get tangent by itself we have to square root both sides so now tangent theta here equals well what is the square root of negative one we cannot do that so that is no solution so our only two answers here would be 60 degrees and negative 60 degrees ladies and gentlemen please 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 follow your steps it is factor if you can or try to change up everything into the same trig function but ladies and gentlemen that does it for section 13.5 solving trigonomic equations good day